Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, first of all, uh, my name is Lee Hartman, and we are just excited about y'all being here. Okay? And I know y'all got a lot of schools to go to, but we'll make sure that you see the very best of UAPG. Before we get started, we have a special guest here this morning. Uh, we just hired a, a new counselor, uh, just on the job, July 1. And he's on the way to Little Rock to leave, but he wanted to stop by and say hello to you. So let's give Councilor Alexander a hand, okay? Thank you, thank you, Dr. Hartman. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a great vacation this morning. We are delighted, delighted, absolutely, to have you here uh, visiting at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. It is so good to see you here this morning. I'm very glad, I'm delighted, that you've included the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff on your tour because, honestly, there's no better thing you could be doing during this vacation period than what you are doing right now, than going from one educational institution to another, meeting the people there, learning new faces, learning new things about your future in higher education. All of you, I understand, are planning to go to college. Have all of you made your choice for college of where you're going? Not all of you. That's good. <laughs> because if you haven't made your choice yet, I want you to choose the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. There are lots of reasons why. We have top academic programs, more than 30 majors that you can major in almost anything you want to. We have a large span of experts on our faculty, a world-class faculty. We have staff at the ready to help you in every way possible to succeed at this institution. We also have lots of activities that you can become involved in. I know you've heard about the band, the choir, M4, the internationally known Vesper Choir. We have a wonderful theater program and all the other activities that we have here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. In addition to that, we have more than 90 student organizations that you can interact with other students that you can become involved in and that you can become a leader in and get leadership experience. You know, over the years, we've had a number of students who've come through this university and they've succeeded, they've gone on to their professions and have gone on to do wonderful things. They're that wonderful bank of alumni that we have. And many of them are great names, names that you will recognize. But before that, they were students right here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. They were here just like you. So when you walk around this campus, when you meet our fine faculty and staff, when you sit in the chairs where you sit, know and understand that you too can become a part of that greatness. And we certainly would like to have you here at this institution. And if I could be of any help, from my chair as chancellor of this university, I want to be of assistance to you. As Mr. Hardman said at the beginning, I came here about, it started here a little over a week ago, coming from the University of Florida in Gainesville. And, uh, and let me just say, I am, I've just been delighted every step of the way with what I've seen and heard and what the great potential and prospect for the future is here at this institution. You are our future. You're our future. And we take that very seriously here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. So if we could be of any help, if the staff could be of any help, certainly ask all questions and get all answers that you need before you leave here today. It has been my great pleasure to welcome you here. Have some fun while you're here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. The Vice Chancellor of Student Affairs, Mr. Bennett, was not, well, was not able to attend this morning, but in his place we had Mrs. 
George Vaughn. Ms. Vaughn will come up and greet you on behalf of our Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs. Ms. Vaughn. Good morning. Welcome to the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, my alma mater. And I want to say to you that at this campus, um, the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, student affairs is a very major part of your activities. Student affairs is one of three divisions of the university. And student affairs includes areas like residential life, uh, student council and assessment and development, admissions, recruitment, um, health services, all those areas that are outside your classroom experience. And I want to welcome you on behalf of our uh, administrative coordinator of student affairs, Mr. Elbert Bennett. In my office, the Student Counseling Assessment and Development Center, we are responsible for all of the needs that our students have in reference to mental health, psychosocial needs, uh, those areas that help you move on past, I want to go home because I'm, I'm really missing home. I want to be at home. So Student Counseling Assessment and Development is your home away from home. But this morning, I want to talk about another mission uh, of the Division of Student Affairs, and that is to make sure that we are preparing you to support your academic choices. I saw some hands go up in reference to everyone on this trip is uh, college bound, correct? Uh, how many students are planning on going into teacher education? Would love to teach someone. Just a few. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. One of your advisors is in education, so she wants you to say that. How many of you are interested in um, the technology areas? Computer science, technology, anything in that area? Computer science? OK. How many of you are interested in the social sciences? History, uh, history, social science, any of those? OK, I'm interested in knowing what you are interested in. Give me some names. What do you plan to major in? Nursing. nursing. What's after nursing? Business. Business. OK, I'm very glad to hear that. Anything else? Psychology. Psychology. All of those are in the social sciences. Psychology. Anything else? Criminal justice. Broadcasting. Broadcasting. OK, engineering, oh, you have your representative here this morning for that. Dr. Colin is uh, about to talk to you. So we are excited about the variety of majors. But there are some basic things that you need to know. It doesn't matter what major you choose. It doesn't matter about the major you choose. What matters is the attitude that you have about what it is that you're going to do. There is a quote that I like to use all the time that simply says, the way that you think directs your words, your words direct your actions, your actions direct your values, and your values direct your destiny. In other words, your attitude, the way you think, directs your altitude, how high you're going to soar, and the destiny that you're going to reach. What are the goals that you set for yourself? In the Division of Student Affairs, we try to make sure that in, in student involvement and leadership, you develop some of those characteristics and skills outside of the classroom that will aid you, that will be on that resume, that will be in your portfolio to represent your character and the kinds of experiences, how you have given some of your volunteerism. All of those things are a part of what we try to train you in student affairs. Additionally, in student affairs, as I said, in my office, we concentrate on trying to make sure that you are developing holistically with good mental health outlook. And we're also, I have as a mission, to help you with making sure that you take all of the standardized exams that you have to take. So one of the things I want to ask you is how many of you have had the pre-ACT or the pre-SAT? All right, very good. And how many of you have already scored over 21 on those? Very good. All right, give yourselves a hand. Because it is important that you do your very best when you're doing standardized testing. And that's one of the responsibilities of our office. Here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, you are admitted uh, with the ACT of 19 and above. So if you have not uh, accomplished or achieved a 19, make sure that you keep preparing yourselves. You can go online and do practice ACTs. You can uh, purchase a practice manual. All of those things are important so that you have choices when it's time for you to make that decision. 
If you don't have choices, then you'll just have to go anywhere. But please make sure that you're making yourself prepared to do your very best on any standardized exam. How many of you are in leadership positions at your high schools? You're in some organization? Those are the things that are going to help uh, attribute to your um, application letters when you write them to your various schools that you're applying to. They want to know what is it that you can do other than have that 3.5 or above. Plenty of people get the 3.5, but they don't have anything else with it. So it's important for you to have those activities under your belt. Stay involved. And when someone asks you, what are the things you like to do? Don't say, oh, I like to go to the mall. I like to talk on my, I like to Twitter. I like to, you know, Facebook. Those are not the things they want to hear. They want to hear about the kinds of support activities. You volunteer at what places? What are the things that you do to enhance your academics? So here in the Division of Student Affairs, that's our major mission, enhancing your academic performance here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. I'm known here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff as the Roaring Lady. So as I leave, I want you to remember that I'm not just the Roaring Lady because we are the Golden Lions and we roar through the jungle, but I want you to know that I am the Roaring Lady because as a member of the Division of Student Affairs, particularly Student Assessment, Student Counseling, Assessment, and Development. I like to roar students to their accomplishments, their highest achievements. So again, on behalf of the Division of Student Affairs, welcome to the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff and roar potential Golden Lions. Thank you. Okay, uh, more things. You just tell me excited about y'all being here. Okay. Now we have, uh, uh, how many students have been going into the STEM area? Yeah, I think that was mentioned earlier. How many students have been going into the STEM area? Raise your hand. Science, technology, engineering, and math. Okay, good. Well, we have, we have one of the top STEM programs in the state of Arkansas. And it's one of the top, the top. We started the program about 11 years ago. And since then, other schools in the state have picked it back off of us. Today we have, we have with you, uh, uh, covered our STEM, um, advisors who work with the CM program. Now, I want to call them up and let them talk to you a little bit about the CM area. So let's start off with Dr. Buckman, uh, Mrs. Buckman, okay? This it, 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 husband and wife right here, I'm a Buckman, so we have to make some good decisions. I'm not as enthusiastic as Ms. Vaughn, I can't tell you to roar. But I do want to talk to you about uh, the department and our science, technology, engineering, and mathematics program here at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. I am the chair of the biology department here. We are the largest science discipline in the School of Arts and Sciences. We have over 300 biology majors. How many of you want to go to medical school and become a physician? That's a good number. How many of you want to go to pharmacy school? Dental school? By the dental, veterinary medicine? Okay, allied health, that would be physical therapy, sports medicine, any of those areas. Okay, those uh, programs all fall up under the Department of Biology. And so I have some brochures I'll leave with um, Mr. Hartman to pass out to you and uh, let you kind of see what we do. We are a very uh, enthusiastic and energetic group of students. And we have, a, even though it's a large number, we have, a, we're like a, a large family large extended family, a home away from home. So we have a good time in the department. We get a lot of exposure. We go on a lot of um, trips off campus to visit programs to kind of see what it's like there and what you want to do once you finish school. And I also want to talk to you about one of our science, technology, engineering, and mathematics programs. It is, we have two programs here. Dr. Colin will talk about the big program and I'll talk to you about one that we have across the state of Arkansas. I am the project director for that program, and it's called the Arkansas Lewis Stokes Alliance for Minority Participation. And that program is to get underrepresented students like yourself to major in the STEM area. I heard some mechanical engineering, maybe some civil, um, different biology, chemistry, physics, mathematics, all of those computer science fall up under STEM areas, STEM disciplines. And so um, what this program is, is across the state of Arkansas, you could pick one of eight schools, attend those schools, You'll get a stipend, which is a good thing for you. And you'll also have the opportunity to participate in national opportunities and go on to graduate school or whatever school you choose to go to and they pay for it. So there's nothing better than to get all of your education paid for. So continue to do well on those exams, those standardized exams, 
and keep moving forward. If you have any questions for me later on once you leave and you go through your bag and kind of see what you have, my uh, contact information is on the brochure. So feel free to come and if you get a get the chance to come back and want a special tour of the department, we'd be happy to do it for you and we'll have students around also to help show you. Thanks. All right, next person we're gonna bring up is Dr. Charles Cohen. And I'm gonna let him tell you his title and everything because there's so many. And, and I'll let him explain that to you. Yeah, there you go. Good morning. Uh, like Coach Har Harvey said, uh, I have a number of titles. Uh, what they pay me to do is uh, I'm the chair for the Department of Mathematical Science and Technology. So what's in that department are math majors, computer science majors, industrial technology management, applied engineer majors, and we also have a, a pre-engineering program. So all that fits on that one department. Then my other job is I also work with the uh, STEM Academy. And what Dr. Buckley talked to you about was one of our programs that's within the STEM Academy. That STEM Academy is made up of about three different programs. And one of the programs works with the graduate level STEM uh, majors. And also we have another program called HBCU Up, which works with the undergraduates. Now, I don't know if you all got the bus too soon. Did you all see a group of kids walking? Did y'all see those kids walking by? Yeah. You, you all already in here? Already yeah. In. Well, we have this summer, we have what we call our STEM Academy, which is going on now. And what we do is we start about 6.15 in the morning, we go to about 8.45 at night. What you think about that? <laughs> That's serious, isn't it? Now, once again, let me ask, how many uh, STEM majors do we have? You all stand up. Let me see the STEM majors. Stand up. So it's all female, one male, right? Okay. Now, you all look around. People that sit down, look at those people you will probably be paying them to do something for you. What you think about that? Y'all can sit down. All right. Now, how many of you all like math? Does everybody like math? No. How many of you all like money? <laughs> now, when you, look at, when you look at money, what do you see in all four corners of money? Numbers, right? So what does that mean? If you, probably, if you don't like math, you probably don't what? Is that true? No. So first thing we need to do is what? Change our love for what? Math, math right? So that's, that's one of the things that I do. Now, I told you about the STEM program, and I'll leave some brochures with, Dr., uh, with uh, Coach Harmon for that. Uh, this is our, uh, it's, it, it's supposed to be a newsletter, but it looks more like what? Like a magazine, doesn't it? So how many of y'all been in a magazine? You been in a magazine? So you famous? Do people follow you on Twitter now? Huh? You are famous? Yes, yes. Oh, He is famous. He's famous. What's your name? Let me see. Ben. Ben. Sierra famous. Sierra said you're not famous. Well, if you look at this, if you look at our book right here, guess who you're seeing here? You'll see who? Who does that look like? <laughs> huh? These, these, these some people at the top, who? So, we must be famous, huh? So, you know, so when you all go on this tour, you all go with about 40 schools, right? You all can go back to Houston, you can tell everybody you met some famous people. And who are they? Huh? Oh, not still famous. Let me show you this picture again. That's all right, I'm just talking there. Better, better, let, better let you know. All right. <laughs> okay, so, and what I wanted to do was make sure you all are excited about going to college. Everybody excited about going to college, right? Yes. But on top of that, we want you to come here. Now, how many schools y'all going to see? 18. 18? So, can you all uh, stop the trip today? No. <laughs> this is going to probably be the best school you come to. See that? Miss Bonnie. <laughs> now, how many of you, what, what, what animal do you all think roar, roars in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Not a tiger, it's a lion. All right? So, there's only one animal that roars in the morning. All right? That's here, okay? Now, do we have what? Do we have real? Oh, no, they wouldn't let us. The zoo won't let us. We have one. It's a zoo at 45 miles from here. <laughs> They won't let us keep them down here because we didn't want to eat them. 
But I think Dr. Buckley's area we are working for. Now, so when you leave here, I want you all to understand about two things before we leave. You have this world full of acronyms now, right? Now, what does UAPB stand for? University of Arkansas. What does STEM stand for? Now I'm going to ask you one more thing, and I'm going to leave. What does uh, TP stand for? <laughs> no, this is what I want you to remember. At UAPB, we make sure that you become the total package before you leave. Yeah. All right, so what that means, we're going to develop you academically. We're also going to develop you professionally so you can go out here, interview, get interns, get jobs, because that's what it's all about, or go to grad school. So when you come, think about all these other places you're going. You remember what I told you. And if you want to be the total package, you need to come to UAPD. Thanks. Yeah, one of the speakers this morning. At University of Arkansas Path Love, we also have an ag program, an agriculture program here at the Outer Site. We cannot keep enough students in the program for the job demand. And the young man bringing up now, uh, Dr. Buckner, is over a program that is the only one in the United States. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you a little bit about this program, and then we'll be ready to go on the tour in about uh, 10, 15 minutes. Okay, Dr. Buckner. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing this morning? All right. I'm from the School of Ag. I'm actually the Associate Dean for Research and for Outreach in the School of Ag, Fisheries, and Human Sciences. With that said, what do you think agriculture is? Animals. What else? Farming. What else? So I got farming and animals. Well, that is a part of it. Uh, what we do here at UITB is we actually uh, do research with animals. We, our students help us to do research with animals. We do research with crops. We actually don't train any tractor drivers because if you, have, if you own a tractor, the tractor probably costs a quarter million dollars. If you farm the land, you probably have about 10 tractors that are a quarter million dollars. You probably have millions of dollars in land. So it's really hard to get into farming now. But with that said, we train folks to do research to make sure that the crops are more nutritious, to make sure that the uh, crops can be more economically feasible for you. Uh, we do those kind of things. And to do those things, it takes an awful lot of math and science. And so you heard something about STEM. We're actually a lot of math and science too. So you can't, you can't escape it. You can't escape math and science. Uh, so that's a little bit about agriculture. Um, one of the things that we had this summer was an ag discovery program. And that program is for students that are ages 14 to 17. How many 14 to 17 year olds? Is that everybody? I want to make sure that you have one of these brochures. This is actually a national program. They have these programs all over the United States, but UAPB has one of the best. We also have one of the first ag discovery programs, so be sure you get one of these. This is for the program we just had this year. The time to apply to this program will be next February. So be sure you take this and be sure you apply next February. This is on the website for the uh, USDA. That's the United States Department of Agriculture. And we host that program here at USDA. Coach Hartman. Hartman wanted me to talk to you a little bit about regulatory science. Regulatory science. Has anybody ever heard about regulatory science? Well, before I got here, I hadn't heard about it either. But regulatory science is about science plus regulations. It's all about uh, clean drinking water. How many of you have something to drink today? What would you do if that water made you sick? Or that juice made you sick? What would happen? You see, you know, probably wouldn't be sitting in these chairs right now. What, well, that's what, that's what my students do. A lot of my students go out and make sure that the water we drink is safe, make sure that the food that we drink is safe. Like when Taco Bell had that big scare, some of my graduates went and actually traveled around the country with the federal government to find out where that bad food was entering the food supply. And so that's what we're all about in agriculture. We're not about training you how to drive tractors. We're about the science of it. Uh, so if you got any questions, be sure to get this brochure and get this brochure and be sure to apply for this program, Ag Discovery. Yeah. We have students that come to us from FFA. It's not part of FFA, but we do have a 4-H program, and we do have this Ag Discover program. So it's very similar. This program actually trains you and teaches you about careers in agriculture. Uh, the Animal Plant Health Inspection Service, which is a federal agency, they're looking to hire students. But they got, you got to go to college, and you got to major in Ag or some of the, the uh, STEM areas. 
That will qualify you for a job with APHIS. And this program trains you about all the different careers. They've got areas where they investigate. They've got areas where they actually go out and uh, make sure that import, import food, imported food is safe when it reaches our country. So they do a lot of things that, that relate to the safety of food. Thank you very much. Anyone have any questions to any of the presenters at this point? Anyone have any questions? Okay, concerning the film, egg, uh, anything? All right, all right, all right. But then look at uh, Doc, y'all, we really appreciate uh, y'all coming back and talking to us, okay?